Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a logistic web app dashboard which is created by using the Google Sheet as a database and Google Web App Script. So as of now, you can see here in the dashboard, uh, you can see here the total orders, the products, the orders created, delivered, and low stock items. And this is a recent activity which have made on this particular portal. And this is the recent orders. So you can see here, it will auto refresh your uh, dashboard. And if you don't want to auto refresh, you can simply off this button. Okay, auto refresh is disabled now. Now the data will not be disabled. Okay. So I will show you all the user roles, the admin, the e-commerce and the logistics step by step. So I just copy this and uh, come to here and paste it here for the e-commerce and paste it here for the logistics. Okay. Now I need to enter my username or password for the e-commerce uh, type. I just uh, click on this my information and enter click on this login. So now I just come here and enter my details for the logistics. Okay, so as of now, you can see here, uh, here's I am successfully logged in as a e-commerce and here's I am successfully logged in as a logistics. Okay, so let me start from the admin and admin sections. You can see here the orders in the order sections. You can see all the orders which have created in our web app dashboard. So it will load it the order. So you can see here in the action view details and view shipping label. So if I click on this view details right now, you can able to see here the uh, order is created and right now it's in created state. No progress on them. How the progress comes here. Okay. So for that, I just go to my dashboard. I just open my refresh button. Okay. So I just now I go to my dashboard. When I go to my dashboard and uh, I just open this view details. Okay, so this is a my order. I just go to the logistics. Okay, I just go to the logistics login. Okay, because why I go to the logistics in the logistics sections, we can we deliver the orders. Okay, so I go to here and right now I just click on this view details. So when I click on this view details, so now I can able to mark as packed. So when I click on this mark as packed, okay, uh, order packed order packed from where house okay and click on this okay so when i click on this okay as of now you can able to see here the order is successfully being packed from here and it's updated okay so i just go to this loader so you can see here it's packed already and i will go here so it will take 30 seconds to auto refresh. So in the video, I am making it refresh myself. Okay. So you can see here now the order is in the packed state. Okay. So also you can able to see here if you will refer if you will refresh your order status from here because by default it will take 30 times 30 seconds to update the data. So right now you can able to see here the status history of this particular order. It's created. Uh, okay, you can see here this user and updated by this particular user and it's packed. Okay, now you can see here in the dashboard also recent activity updated in the logistics. I will just click on this mark as picked up. Okay, order. Okay, order picked up by rider you can give him the rider name here as well and click on this okay so when you click on this okay as of now you can able to see here as of now you can able to see here that the order is being successfully being updated so i just refresh it manually and just go to here and click on this view details so now you can able to see here the order is picked up so now it's in the picked up state Okay, so you can see here the order is in the picked up state. So when I loading the orders, it will be updated to the picked up. I just come here. You can see here the order is going to be picked up and it's updated by this user. Now you can also update them mark as delivered. 
so if you have delivered this order you can easily click on this mark as delivered and give any notes here and update the order delivered so it means your order is going to be the updated successfully and when you uh, go to your order sections and you can also able to see here in the admin panel because all the where the status will be updated so now it's delivered and you can see here and for example if in the product have fault they can return they, the logistic can also be able to return the order okay now hope you can understand that so this is the logistic lo uh, this is the logistic login work so the logistics can deliver the orders just and they can easily check out the products and their current stocks here if they want to check and they can easily change their password because every user every admin and uh, or uh, you can see here the e-commerce section and the logistics everyone can use their passwords okay and right now you can simply go to here for the logout okay now come to the uh, e-commerce section so e-commerce section i just turn off my auto refresh disabled because by default you can see here it will take 30 seconds so in 30 seconds the data automatically will be refreshed because we have done the work so you can see here the recent activity is automatically recorded here with the particular time to here and the recent orders we can also check here if we have multiple e-commerce users you can also see here this order is created by this particular user and this order is created by this particular user okay you can see here the total orders the total products the orders created the orders delivered because you can see here in the orders one is delivered and one is created and one on one there is nothing actions came to here okay now this is a e-commerce department so they can able to create a order as well they can filter the category like accessories and you can see here this particular how much you can uh, give him a 56 and shipping label you can upload any shipping label here and click on this create order so when you click on this create order the file is going to be saved in your google drive by she by mri logistic name folder so i can't be able to show uh, you in my video because yesterday my one of my videos is removed by youtube uh, I don't know what's the reason so I cannot open my Gmail here okay so you can see here this is a order and successfully being created now you can able to see here in the dashboard recent orders this particular order also being seen say you can see here in the recent orders so you can see here the dashboard the orders the create order now the product is same you can check out the uh, stock you can check out the category everything about the product and you can also filter by name by category and by the stock levels okay again the change password and logout now come to the admin panel in the admin panel you can add a product okay you can add a product enter the sku product name category if the category is not exist you can add a new category so you can add a new category here and initial stock here so for example one two three four five and it's demo i just uh, i just come here with demo and initial quantity is 500 and click on this add product so when i click on this add product the product is going to be saved successfully in our product sections you can see here the demo okay now again in the activity log what is the activity log in activity log you can able to track all the activities by every user in this section okay and this is a change password you see all the users have this same facility to change the password and again here is the logout functionality and one more thing we have added in this section if the refresh is not working you can manually refresh your data okay and you can also make it like that the sidebar so hope so you like this video you like this concept and if you want any update in this particular portal just comment below we will review your suggestions and make a video on them take care allah